together with the fire department, the police officers, the city of New York, the business improvement district, and all these great businesses here on Fulton Street. He works very, very hard, and he believes in the culture of the Caribbean and the culture of Trinidad and Tobago, and that's why he does this every year. Food and drinks, and sometimes we lose our tempers and so on, but we all must compose ourselves. And I want you right now, as I welcome him to the microphone, to give the man who makes this all happen year after year after year. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want you to put your hands together for Mr. Ralston Charles. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. I just want to say first, I just want to give thanks and praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the beauty of this day they have given to us so that we all can celebrate in it. Without him and without his work, we could not have been here. He could have done or do anything he wants to do to kept us home. But he did something that he think that I will be happy for the work that he have done. And just want to give him praise and thanks. It's not adequate for me to express my deep sense of personal gratitude. So all I have to say is thanks. 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 Thank you. My brothers and sisters, my fellow men, Trinidadian. Oh, let me just say, I build bridges throughout the Caribbean as family. I'm not about no Trinidadian, Jamaican, St. Lucian. I'm not about that narrow restriction, that division that they gave us to live with. I'm not about that. I'm about how you treat me. I will do like the Lord's Prayer say, do unto others as you may like for them to do on to you. They just called me here. I was not prepared, but when you are in the jungle, anything can happen. So you, you got to be prepared. I, I, I would like to come when we are almost close to the end of this to say how much I thank each and every one who make this day possible. All the foot soldier, all the known and unknown people. True, the idea came through me. It came through me to do this for many years. Some may not like the idea, but you know, we, some people don't even like God. So who the hell is me for them not to like what I'm doing here? But meanwhile, I don't want to take up too much of your time because I know when we come out, we want to act the fool. We want to get down. We want to dance, boogie. But we, I want to keep it real too. I want to keep it real. I want to keep it real. The real deal about this and why I'm here and uh, all you all came out here and we are celebrating the beauty of this. I just want to thank my family, my children, my great daughter, Tina Charles. One thing I don't like about her, and I'm going to tell you all, I'm not going to keep it no secret. The youths today, they move so fast, and they want it to move as fast as they move. But I know she do a lot of God. You know, she's a basketball player. Who don't know, I'll let you know. So you know how a basketball player has to move. So when she comes, she says, Dad, let's go, let's go. I, 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 listen, baby, I'm an old man, you know. <laughs> let's keep this real now. You're not, you're not guarding uh, Parker or, or Sylvia Fowles. You, you, this is me you're talking to. So I'm, I'm a little slow. So she walk in there and say, Dad, come, come, come. And she always do this thing to me. 
It's only for a minute. And when I get there, I just can't leave. But we have to understand, she understood that I understand that's the generation of today. But my dear brothers, my dear sisters, I could go on and on and on. Sometimes I lost for words, but I always remember not to forget the great things that all y'all have done over the years. Since I came to this country, what I was set out to do, I did something different. And this is the work of the master. Bring the culture back to the people and the people back to the culture. We had lost our culture. I was like Einstein. His job was to bring the children back to the parent and the parent back to the children. And that's what I did. Because, you know, we came here, we all have the same objective, but different ways of going at things. I went behind our culture to bridge our people back together. Because the American influence is so strong and we are so weak. It's like oxen, corn, and feeding swine. We eat all those things that they gave us. But I stuck with it. And this is the result of it today. I thank you all for coming out. I cannot finish thanking all those sponsors. Foot Locker, we wear your shoe every day. We ask you to give us a bottle of water, a case of water, maybe five dollars for a case of water. You didn't do that. But we're gonna still wear your shoe. Because we can't walk bare feet. Jimmy Jazz, we ask you to give us a little case of water to give back to the people that keep you in business. You didn't even listen to me. But we're gonna wear your clothes. We're gonna still wear your clothes. I'm happy and I'm glad I don't wear your clothes. I'm happy and I'm glad I don't wear your shoe. But my people is gonna wear it anyway. Because we were programmed like that. We can't change that. We are in the narrow restriction that you place here for us to live with. So what are we gonna do? We go along to get along with your shoe, with your clothes. But I just want to let my people know how y'all treat us. And I hope someone could pull this down and let y'all hear what you did to us in our community that we are trying to build. But, however, we all are here. And we are here to celebrate something. This is the day. If this message was not good, if this message was not pure, the good Lord would have rain us out. It's a reason why he gave us this weather. After all week, I'm hearing about all, we're going to have some storm, we're going to have some rain, we're going to have everything else. And I asked him, I said, do me a favor. You know how, what I meant to our people. I want to give them back something to say thanks for what you have done for us. Thank you. Thank you all the people from the Caribbean. Thank you for all our Native American. Thank you for all of us who have our differences with one another. And we have to try to work together. You all hear this all the time, but we're not doing it. We know what our problem is. But guess what? We just don't want to make that sacrifice to make the difference and to change the problems between us as a people. I ain't no preacher, but I learned to say some things to my people and I want to keep it real because I love y'all. I love all my people. I don't, I don't, yeah, I know you may love, yeah, you like blue, but blue is a color of deceit. Blue is a color of deception. The water look blue, but it's not blue. The sky look blue, but it's not blue. It's a color of deception. But I like it too. But I want to say, my dear brothers and sisters, who came by boat, who came by car, by plane, that came in here for our big Labor Day celebration. 
I pray that the good Lord take us all back to our place of abode safe. And I continue working to make this day a day that we can celebrate together. It's hard, but nothing come easy with this. I want to thank all our police officers. Without your presence, we're going to start acting the fool if you're not here. So I thank the 79 precinct and Mr. Goldberg, I know you work and you said, Charlie, we're we, 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 we going to be here for you. So I thank everyone, all our sponsors that make this day possible. It's not adequate for me to express my deep sense of personal gratitude, like I said before, so thank you. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, my sisters. Thank you, all of my people, for coming out here. If you did not come out, I will not get a little bit of money from these sponsors because, you know, they look at numbers. Charlie, where's the number? I can't give you no money to buy no damn bed, to buy no food. I ain't see no number here. So I'm glad that you came out and show. Show your love. Like I show my love to you. Peace, love, my brothers. May God bless you all. See you not next year. But see you later on. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Where's my daughter? Come here. Come here. They see you on television. They see you in Olympics. Two times gold medalists. I don't have to tell you how many times she win. Double, double, triple, double all the doubles. But... How could I walk off the stage without presenting what God passed through me to transform into this? You all see her on TV, see her live. She worked all so hard. And I, what, you know, you know, I'm the old man, I'm believing working. And, you know, you know, sometimes I told her, I said to my daughter, the fruit do not f fall far from the tree. And you know a man from his work. So when I see what you're doing, it's what I've been doing since I was a young man growing up. And you perfect it for me. And I thank you for hanging in there in spite of all what you've been through, that hard work to make it where you are today. I mean, how many, how, many, how many people that we know that go to the gold medal, win two gold medals in Brooklyn, in New York, that you could see and you could touch and you could talk to? Now, no, we know them, but we don't see them too close to us. We don't hug them. And don't think because she's, uh, she's just a little black girl, she's not like the other superstars. They all have the same name, the same spelling. They have the same attitude towards the, the sports that they're in. They work hard. And let me tell you all something. I have to thank God for her and to keep her strong and powerful to stand up against her forces. All right? Say something. Say something. Thank you. Say something. Thank you. Thank you. Say something. I'm about my feet, not the shoe. You want a picture of Charlie's shoe? Like, uh, support the businesses that support our community. See this man here? I want you all to give this man a round of applause. You don't know how much he does for the community. Respect Francis, man. Say something. Say something. Yes, yes, yes. Look at people. How are you guys doing? Feeling good? All right, we're going until nine o'clock. All right, so have fun. We have two more hours. We are going back anytime you want. Let's go. Yes. Hey. Oh yeah, 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 yeah.